There was an incident that happened. What? Uh, I don't know, so help me. Oh, well. Uh, he made uh, some remarks that were uh, deemed to be racist, uh, a comment that he made, and I think that was kind of it. Case reportedly used the N-word after complaining about some of the lines that uh, the show Community had given him. Now, he plays a bigoted character uh, in Community, uh, and his name is Pierce Hawthorne on the show. Why does Abe hate me? What are you kidding? Look at him. He probably hates America. And apparently, some of the lines made him so upset that he said that pretty soon they would have him call the black characters the N-word, but he actually said the N-word. Why was Chevy so pissed? He, uh, as you as you may or may not have uh, followed the saga, uh, he did not want to be there. I mean, he said in every interview that he doesn't like the writing. And he anyway, uh... Looks like Pierce broke the piggy bank of the escort service this time. Hey, duck sauce, that was rude. <laughs> now, after that, uh, production was halted for a while. They had to, like, they had to just kind of take a step back and digest what had just happened. But when you think about what he said in context, is it really that bad? Obviously, he was taking a stand because he didn't like his words, or his lines, I should say. And at the end of the day, he was trying to compare the bigoted lines that they were giving him to calling African Americans the N-word. To teach Jeffrey how to fight. I know a few moves. Troy, I assume you're handy with a switchblade. Abed, you get back to the family tent. Try to find a chicken for Jeff to chase. He did not like the hours, and he did not. He kept saying he didn't like the writing. In that context, he is making an accurate statement. You know that he's not actually calling someone the N-word. Do you think? I think not being racist is the new racism. Whoa! It's also worth noting that it was a very, very long day of shooting, like 15 hours long. At the wrap party the following Sunday, Dan Harmon, the show's rather eccentric, sometimes obsessive creator, got up and, based on Chevy walking off the set, gave a massive F.U. speech in front of Chevy, his wife, and his daughter. He then encouraged the rest of the crew to join him in saying F.U. Chevy over and over again. Chevy Chase was reportedly humiliated at the behavior of the show's creator and left him this voicemail. You have he said, he walked out, I mean, when you said, Chevy, 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 text message said, your comments are unnecessary hurtful. I said, F you, you breached your contract, you're an asshole. It's good that you, you left. And then this happens, what, a day later or uh, la that night? That night, okay. After what I'm guessing is two bottles of Beaujolais? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Chevy Chase. I hope you're ready to take your medicine, you fat f***. <laughs> you didn't give us a script, you can't win, so no, you what the f***. It was like a community rap party or something like that. That it, they weren't, they didn't never put it into the context of. That's what Chevy was talking about. And th th that's why we were quote unquote feuding. By the time the story broke, we were already friends again. We were laughing about it, but it was like it. it what had happened is at the rap party <laughs> after a season that was very contentious. I I, I made the jo I kind of like. I, I, the, the crew, like I was, I thought I was being like a white knight to the crew at the rap party and saying, okay, uh, before we play the gag reel and, and, and I'll go home, like I'm your boss, you can't get fired. So everybody on the count of three, just say, go ahead and say, fuck you, Chevy. And then everybody, everybody very much <laughs> participated. <laughs>
out of context. Context is everything. I call the other women flat butt, and the one Abed wants a nail. So what's the context for constantly referring to me as a lesbian? The wallet chain fits. I'm just trying to help you find yourself. At least he doesn't think that Shirley's my mom anymore. He thinks that we're cousins. You're not? He still assumes I'm a terrorist. If you're not, I'm sorry. And if you are, I'm a hero. Uh, Chevy, though, fine. Not, not at all. You, you guys are getting along. No, that guy's a... Uh, Probably, times. like, the least racist guy. To a fault. Right. To the fault where it's just like, oh, let's go, to, let's go get some Chinese food, and he'll just walk into a Burger King. Right, because he like, can't even he tell can't the difference. He can't even tell the difference. Like, it's just like... <laughs> and it's just like, hey, man, this is... These are burgers. And he's like, I didn't notice. And you're just like, god damn. Yeah, you still owe me for the keg deposit. Do you want to say that line again, you asshole? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> wow. So we go from the off screen. Uh, uh, <laughs> Fuck you for doing the right thing. <laughs> 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 Fucking acting and shit. <laughs> Who do you think you are? I'm Chevy Chase. A lot of people don't watch our show because it's on at eight. <laughs> not me. I watch it. Really? That's not okay. That's not true. <laughs> I'm just sort of a funny guy who will, on any occasion, ruin a scene. What's my line? 